Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Patshada. Today I am going to solve a problem of CSI and 8 June 2023 from Classical Mechanics Part B and the question ID is 704048. So the problem is given that uh, the consider the constants A and B such that the following generalized coordinate transformation from these to these is canonical when Q is equals to p into q to the power a plus 1 and p is equals to this. So, what are the values of a and b? So, for what values of a and b, this transformation will be canonical. We have to find. So, let's see. So, from the definition of Poisson bracket, we all know that this both are always 0. And from the given data, we have these two that is q is equals to these and capital P is equals to these. We all know it from the fundamentals of Poisson bracket that capital Q P is equals to del Q del Q del P del P minus del Q del P del P del Q. Now what is del Q del Q? So then we have to differentiate this with respect to this q and what we get we then get p into a plus 1 into q to the power a and differentiating this del p del p that is differentiating p with respect to small p we get 0. Again when we find del q del p we differentiate q with respect to small p then we get q into sorry q to the power a plus 1 and for this term del p del q then we differentiate capital P with respect to q we get b into q to the power b minus 1. Now we have to put this all all this four in this then what we get we get this and calculating this we get this term will be 0. So calculating this we get minus b into q to the power a plus b. So for the transformation to be canonical this qp must be equal to 1 that is minus b into q to the power a plus b is must be 1. Hence this. Here we can see that the right hand side is dimensionless. Hence q to the power a plus b is dimensionless. Therefore q to the power a plus b is dimensionless when a plus b is equals to 0 we know. So then we get a is equals to minus b. And here minus b is equals to 1. When q to the power a plus b is dimensionless then we get minus b is equals to 1 which implies b is equals to minus 1. So from this 2 we can say that a is equals to minus of minus b that is minus of minus 1 is equals to plus 1. So our correct option is here option 4 is a is equals to 1 and b is equals to minus 1. So our correct option is option 4. Thank you everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and support us.